So, are you really my mother? The name Spool doesn't mean anything to you? No, should it? It was Norma Bates' maiden name. The woman you thought was your mother was my sister. I had you when I was very young, out of wedlock. I couldn't handle a brand new baby, especially uh, being by myself. I, I had some trouble and the state put me away for a while. That's when Norma took you in. You were less than a year old. Too young to remember me. She never mentioned me, did she? No, she, uh, she didn't. I guess she didn't want you to know you had a mother who wasn't quite right. But we know all about that, don't we, Norman? Mm-hmm. After I got out, you'd already had your troubles and been committed. I decided to wait for you. And then when I saw what they were trying to do to my poor little boy, I couldn't stand it. So I followed them. And one by one, after all, you're all I have in this world. You're sure you won't have a sandwich? I know how it is, Mother. You've had a long day and you must be tired. I'll just put you to bed and tuck you in for the night. I'll even say your prayers for you. Would you like that? I'm not sleepy. Put me in my chair. Yes, Mother. Now, turn me to the window. I want to keep my eyes on you. Make sure you don't start playing with filthy girls again. Yes, Mother. Good. Well, what are you gawking at? Go downstairs and open the motel. What do you expect us to live on, Hope? No, Mother. Remember, Norman, I'm the only one who loves you. Only your mother truly loves you. <laughs> 